The number of electric cars on the roads of the world is growing quickly and hit a new high last year. That seems like good news since the world is trying to stop using fossil fuels, which are bad for the climate. But as electric cars become more popular, some people are wondering how good for the environment they really are. In this video, we'll look at the question, can electric cars really cut down on carbon emissions? Hello! Before starting our video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Now, let's get this video started. Are electric cars climate friendly? Electric cars are being pushed by governments and automakers all over the world as a key way to cut down on oil use and fight climate change. General Motors has said that it wants to stop selling new cars and light trucks that run on gasoline by 2035. Instead, it will switch to selling cars and light trucks that run on batteries. Volvo also said it would move even faster and have a line of cars that are all electric by 2030. But as electric cars and trucks become more popular, they have faced a persistent question if they are really as green as they say they are. Experts agree that plug-in vehicles are better for the climate than regular cars, but they can still have their own effects on the environment, depending on how they are charged and made. Now let's look at some of the biggest worries and how to deal with them. It matters how the electricity is made. In general, most electric cars sold today tend to put out a lot less pollution that warms the planet than most gasoline-powered cars. But a lot depends on how much coal is burned to charge these plug-in vehicles. And electric grids still need to be cleaned up a lot before electric cars can really be said to have no emissions. If you assume that electric cars get their power from the average grid in the United States, which is usually a mix of fossil fuel and renewable power plants, then electric cars are almost always much better for the environment than regular cars. Even though the batteries in electric cars cause more pollution when they are made, their electric motors are more efficient than internal combustion engines that burn fossil fuels. For example, an all-electric Chevrolet Bolt will, on average, make 189 grams of carbon dioxide for every mile driven over the course of its life. On the other hand, a new Toyota Camry that runs on gasoline is thought to make 385 grams of carbon dioxide per mile. A new Ford F-150 pickup truck, which is even less fuel efficient, produces 636 grams of carbon dioxide per mile, but that is only an average. On the other hand, if the Bolt is charged on a grid that uses a lot of coal, like the ones in the Midwest, it can be worse for the environment than a modern hybrid car like the Toyota Prius, which runs on gasoline but has a battery to help it get better gas mileage. Coal is usually the most important factor. If you've got electric cars in Pittsburgh that are being plugged in at night and leading nearby coal plants to burn more coal to charge them, then the climate benefits won't be as great and the air pollution could even get worse. Most countries are now trying to clean up their electric grids, which is good news for electric vehicles. Raw materials can be problematic. Like many other batteries, the lithium-ion cells that power most electric vehicles are made from raw materials like cobalt, lithium, and rare earth elements that have been linked to serious environmental and human rights concerns. Cobalt has caused the most trouble. Mining cobalt makes dangerous wastes called tailings and slags that can get into the environment. Studies have shown that cobalt and other metals are found in high amounts in nearby communities, especially in children. Smelting is a process that is used to get the metals out of their ores. This process can release sulfur oxide and other harmful pollutants into the air. The Democratic Republic of Congo is where as much as 70% of the world's cobalt is mined. The world's lithium is either mined in Australia or taken from salt flats in the Andean regions of Argentina, Bolivia, and Chile. Pumping out the brines from the salt flats requires a lot of groundwater which reduces the amount of water that indigenous farmers and herders can use. Because making batteries requires a lot of water, making electric cars uses about 50% more water than making traditional cars with internal combustion engines. Manufacturers need to work with these mines to reduce the damage they do to the environment and make sure the miners are safe at work. If companies did the right thing, the rise of electric cars could be a great opportunity for places like Congo. Recycling could be better. As the batteries in electric cars from earlier generations start to wear out, it might be hard to keep them from piling up. 
Most electric cars made today use lithium-ion batteries, which can store more energy in the same amount of space than lead-acid batteries, which were more common in the past. But in the United States, 99% of lead-acid batteries are recycled, but only about 5% of lithium-ion batteries are recycled. Experts say that old batteries still have valuable metals and other materials that can be taken out and used again. Depending on the process, recycling batteries can also use a lot of water or put harmful chemicals into the air. Yes, electric cars are better for the environment than regular cars. But making batteries for electric cars causes pollution, and mining for lithium and cobalt can be bad for the environment. If we want to reduce our carbon footprint and protect our planet, we need to keep putting money into renewable energy sources and find ways to make electric cars even more eco-friendly. So, what do you think? Tell us in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We're grateful for your time. We'll be back soon.